Welcome to our review on energy sources. First thing we need to know then is what is an energy source? And quite simply, it's something we can use for heating, transportation or generating electricity. So when we're talking about these energy sources, they can either be renewable or non-renewable. So a renewable energy source will not run out, whereas a non-renewable energy source will run out. And the reason for that is we're using it faster than it's being made. Make sure you remember that phrase and only use that phrase when you're asked what non-renewable means. It will run out because it's being used faster than it's being made. If we split up the different energy sources into renewable and non-renewable, then what we find is our non-renewable ones are nuclear and fossil fuels, so coal, oil, natural gas. Our renewable energy sources are biofuels, the sun, tides, wind, waves, geothermal and hydroelectric. When we consider where these actually came from, the nuclear fuels were formed in stars and therefore it's quite obvious why we're not getting any more of those anytime soon. And the fossil fuels were formed from the effects of pressure and temperature acting on the remains of living things over millions of years. Hence why these are non-renewable. Once we've used them up, it's going to take millions of years for them to form again. Once we've got our energy sources, we use them for three main things. First one is heating. So this would be things like the fossil fuels, biofuels, the sun and geothermal energy. We can use them in transportation, which tends to be the biofuels or the fossil fuels and generating electricity. Pick whatever energy source you like and we can use it for generating electricity. So any of them will do for an example for that. It's also worth bearing in mind at this point that it's not just a case of having to turn on your central heating to heat our houses. We can also do things like building a house that's going to maximise the heat from the sun. So having large windows on a south facing side so that the sun's heat is absorbed by the building. We can use solar panels or we could use hot water from underground in certain areas to heat our homes rather than the typical central heating system. If we're looking at how we can generate electricity, we can use solar cells or photovoltaic cells. And we can also use turbines and generators driven by the wind, waves, geothermal, hydroelectric or biofuel sources. So we don't have to go back to the fossil fuels all the time. The last thing I've given you here is just a pie chart showing you how we generated electricity in the UK in 2013. So you can see that 36% of our electricity came from coal and 20% from nuclear with 27% from gas. So those are our non-renewables there, with our renewables only making up 14.9%. So they could give you a pie chart like this and ask you to interpret information from it. So make sure you are quite good at reading graphs of all different types. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can describe the main energy sources available to us on Earth. You can explain the difference between renewable and non-renewable energy sources and describe how we use energy resources.